who in my view should be the guest of honor and then the chief guests director tom director of cid i can see senior commissioners of police here who have already been introduced but i specifically want to introduce my team after recognizing the founders of police because for me i had the Department of Finance in Uganda Police. For those that have seen me for the first time, my name is Agre Wunyi. I have actually a very long name, but for purposes of official work, I stop there. Otherwise, I have Magala, Edizefa, Nipai Nento, Timoto. And I happen to be a prince from the kingdom across the Nile. Uh, uh, representative of UNODC, uh, you've been funding Uganda Police, and I thank you for that. Uh, Lucy is here from the Governance and Security. Uh, we, we are doing this as part of accountability and seeking for more. Uh, I, I've had two presidential assistants here saying almost what I should have said. Nonetheless, I have a speech which I've organized targeting the people that have been promoted. It is just three pages and I can read it very fast. Don't worry, I'm mindful of time. So to the officers who have been promoted, we gather here to celebrate a significant milestone in your careers as we congratulate each, other, each one of you a new well deserved promotion within the ranks of Uganda Police. It is a moment of great pride and honor, not just for you, but also for your family and the ones you've supported throughout your journey. As newly promoted officers, you now bear even greater responsibility in upholding the values and principles that police stands for. Your dedication, hard work, and commitment have been recognized with this promotion. And this comes with great, greater trust and expectation from the community we serve. From the one who gets more, more is expected. So with this promotion also comes an important mindset shift. You're no longer just rank and file officers, you're now leaders, role models, and ambassadors of the law. Your promotion signifies your capacity to effect positive change, both within police and in the lives of those we protect and serve. There is tremendous opportunity, but it also brings inherent challenges. There will be black swans, but you surmount them with focus, hard work, and by supporting your leaders to achieve a shared vision. As leaders, remember to always lead by example, your actions We'll speak louder than any words you say. Uphold the highest standards of professionalism, integrity, and ethical conduct. Take ownership of your responsibilities and ensure that your actions demonstrate a deep respect for human rights and impartiality in the discharge of your duties. Your conduct on and off duty must inspire confidence and trust, not just within police, but within the public we serve. Society expectations have increased during this fourth industrial revolution and increased access to information through the social media and globalization. I additionally urge you to nurture strong bonds with the community. Policing is not just about enforcing the law, it's about building strong relationships, fostering trust and creating safer neighborhoods. Embrace the diversity in our society and strive to understand and appreciate the unique cultural backgrounds and concerns of the people we serve. Empath and compassion will be your allies in effectively addressing the needs of our community and fostering a sense of security. Keep yourself updated by reading the police strategic plan, the policy statement, the budget, standing order, and other literature relevant to policing. Continuous learning and self-improvement should remain at the core of your professional journey. Embrace training opportunities and seek new knowledge and skills that will enhance your ability to serve and protect. Our world is constantly evolving and so should our methods and approaches. 
stay abreast with advancements in technology and techniques while maintaining a keen eye on ever-changing nature of criminal activities. Stay curious and adaptive for it is through constant growth that we can thrive in our chosen profession. We op operate in a constrained social, legal, economic, political and technological environment. However, together with your leadership, we've been able to provide certain incentives for you to perform. I know for a fact that we now give all of you plain cloth allowance which was not there before. We provide money for feeding the suspects that you hold, provide impressed retooling, we've done the renovations you've seen, and we continue to do more. Now, you will need to build teams, associate with positivity, accomplish tasks assigned, give clear directions, provide feedback, listen to others, and learn to forgive and say thank you. The result is that the higher you climb, the heavier the fall. So beware of the temptations that can bring you down. You have the pleasure and uncertainty uh, of what as you are you're fairly middle ranked and probably low ranked officers. So you have a lot to look forward to. What we got right uh, for us here has either brought us where we are and we, we don't look forward so much. At the next level in my career is only one which may be attained or not. But for you, you can climb to the highest levels. So remember, take care of yourselves and each other. Policing is a challenging and demanding profession, both mentally and physically. Lean on your colleagues for support. Foster a culture of camaraderie and be there for one another during difficult times. Seek opportunities for self-care. Maintain a health work-life balance. And remember that your being ultimately contributes to your ability to serve with excellence. As we stand here today, I have no doubt that you are ready to embrace the challenges that lie ahead. Your promotion is a testament to your skills, dedication, and potential. The responsibilities entrusted to you are great, but so is your ability to make a difference. Together, let us continue to build a force that the community can trust and rely upon as we protect and serve. Thank you.